So the final design step is uh, to bring these into easel. So in my case, well, th this is a CNC machine I use. Um, I have a, a, um, uh, an X-Carve, and basically I can import Fusion data, you know, Fusion G-code, or I can do um, I can do other things here. Okay, so I, I launch Easel. I can see the different projects I have. You know, if I go to one of these, you can see I have all the nested files in here. Um, Easel is great because I it, it's tied to my my Xcarve machine. From here, I can import an SVG file or G code. If I have something that I've exported directly from Fusion, um, there's a nice process in here. They show you the post process and how to set this all up. So I can just take G code from Fusion straight in here. In this case, I'm going to create a new design and I want to import in one of those SVG files. So basically, I'll say, let's import SVG. I can browse out to where one of those are. We'll just say the first one, hit open, and it comes in. Now, there, there may be a tad uh, work that you need to do on it. In this case, I don't really need the, the outer boundary of it, so I'm just going to grab, uh, looks like it didn't, uh, didn't bring that in anyway. Um, I, wanna br I want all of these to be just a outline, so you'll notice that you can come in and say, do an outline of that. Um, I can also do an outline of each of those each of the text so and you can window select um, depending on how the how your tech your data will come in sometimes it'll say your SVG paths uh, need to be joined and I found well, in this case it did okay but you know sometimes you'll wanna you'll you'll have to find which one is causing you some grief um, and then here for me I can say let's uh, let's do the out you know I want to do that cut the outer the outline of the profile on that the text we can do just in, you know center um, just on path so I, I will go around and select multiple things and say you know cut on the outside cut on the inside uh, you know I can set up the bit size on some of these I cut with a 16 inch bit some of them I did with an eighth inch um, just depending on how much space and everything I had but you'll see that looks a little bit better in here um, I can also We'll say that the board size is 11 inches by 11 inches by 0.125, so I can key in the, all the material and all the information. Now all the internal things here um, are, let's just grab the text, that's only, I'm, I'm going to carve that much thinner, you know, I'm just going to do a, a thin little carve, so I can see here that it's it's kind of lighter, lightly grayed, it's not cutting all the way through. So that's the thing that, um, you know, I just hold my shift key down and we'll come around and grab all the, the text and say, you know, it's a 32nd of an inch deep and then everything else cuts all the way through. So pretty easy to, you know, it takes a second to set it up, but you can grab all your text and um, undo that. And, uh, and it'll look, uh, look pretty good when it comes out. So there's that, just make sure outside, inside, uh, specify the depth of that. You'll notice that it's cutting, it's putting tabs in here, so I can turn tabs on or off. Again, you know, this is pretty flat SVG. This is pretty easy for, for easel. If I'm doing something that has some kind of contour, that's where I'll bring it right from Inventor as uh, import G-code. But anyway, that's pretty much my setup there. And then once I'm once I'm done and I have my, my machine hooked up, uh, with uh, the, the uh, stock in there, I can just hit carve and the way I go and cut it out. So I ended up, uh, I've already gone through all of this. I've cut seven of these out. I did find that the, the penguin was a little taller than I wanted, so I just removed a handful of, of, um, of pieces as I was sticking it together to kind of give it a little shorter, stumpier look. But it turned out pretty good. Uh, you can see by the pictures, but my daughter's pretty happy with it. So anyway, fun project. Once you're done with this, basically it's just sand and uh, stick it all together, glue and stick it together. And if you have a staple gun, you may want to staple, uh, go add three of them together, glue them, and put a couple staples through, add three more, glue, staple, and you know, kind of go up the stack. But um, hopefully enjoy.